Welcome to Vega in den Beruf, German for your career. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce you to German numbers. By the end of this presentation, you will have learned how to pronounce the German numbers 0 through 500, how to form select German numbers so that you can form other numbers that are similar, and how to apply German numbers in order to complete addresses, postal or zip codes, and telephone numbers. Let's get started. The German numbers 0 through 5 are pronounced 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The German numbers 6 through 10 are pronounced 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You will note that the numbers 0 through 10 are formed in a manner that is very similar to English. The German numbers 11 through 15 are pronounced 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Again, these numbers are formed in a manner that is similar to English. Let's take a closer look at the German number 15, or 15. As you see on the screen, the number is formed by combining two numbers, 5 and 10. So what you are really saying is 5 and 10. Which is, in a, which is similar to the way that the number 15 is formed in English. The German numbers 16 through 20 are pronounced 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Again, this is very similar to English. The German numbers 21 through 25, however, are interesting. They are pronounced 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's take a closer look at the German number 25, or 25. In English, we form the number through a combination of two numbers, placing the larger number before the smaller number, 20 and 5. In German, this pattern is reversed, and the smaller number is placed before the larger number, 5 and 20, or 25. All numbers between 20 and 99 are formed in this manner. The German numbers 30 through 500 are pronounced 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. Forming numbers over 100 is a simple process. Let's take a look at the number 225, or 225. In English, we form the number through a combination of two numbers, placing the larger number before the smaller number, 225. The last component of the number, as explained earlier, also places the larger number before the smaller number, 20 and 5. The process of forming the number 225 is similar in German. The larger number is placed before the smaller number, 200 and 25. As was noted earlier, however, in German the last component of the number places the smaller number before the larger number, 5 and 20, or 25. Now that you have been introduced to the numbers 0 through 500, let's take a closer look at how to apply these numbers in contexts you will most likely encounter when completing a resume addresses, postal codes, and telephone numbers. The explanations that follow will help you to complete the related online course activity. In Germany, the house number in an address is listed after the street where the house is located. Steinstraße 35. When relating an address in German, one forms the number in the manner taught earlier in this presentation. However, this is not the case with larger numbers, such as one uh, such as one encounters with a German postal code or zip code. When speaking a German postal code, one expresses the numbers individually, 2, 0, 0, 9, 5. With German telephone numbers, however, one usually expresses the dialing prefix or area code as individual numbers, 0, 4, 0. The actual telephone number is generally divided into a group of numbers that one speaks in the manner taught earlier in this presentation. 54, 48, 
null, null. This concludes the presentation introducing German numbers. Be sure to test your knowledge by completing the related online course activity. Vega in den Beruf is a production of German Studies at Elon University. The course is released under a Creative Commons, Attribution, Non-Commercial, Sharealike 4.0 International License. Don't be a square. Remix and share.